Hey guys, I honestly feel like taking Agumon out into the field a little more, but I don't know what other Digimon there are. I don't remember what are the Mons I can fight besides Palmon and Kunamon. Maybe I can keep exploring a little bit. Maybe I can grab more Digi Mushrooms. I hope this isn't a waste of space in the video. Um... I've decided that there are certain parts of the game I will wait to talk about. Because there's no really... There's no point in discussing this with some of you. Because, um... Some people tend to learn by uh, visualization. So I've decided not to to inform them about a process that that if it if you could see what it does it would be better like if you could see it in front of you it would work okay that's not food that's not food i don't know where to go i think i'm kind of trapped let's see who's down here See if we can go some other path. What's down here? Yeah, there are some Digimon that tend to look like recolors. I mean, they are recolors. Um, that you will be running into once you've cleared the area of Digimon that can go to the city. Koala Point. Let's see if there are any useful items down here I might be able to grab. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Okay, so there's really nothing for me here. Some places have certain... Like, you have to have good timing to be able to get Digimon's attention. Sometimes there are moments in the day that are exclusive to a Digimon's presence. Like, some Digimon like to appear at night, others like to appear at day. You know what? I'll just battle Red Vegemon and see how I am. Let's see how I'll do. Yeah, some of these rookie Digimon tend to be weak. Well, actually, uh, Red Vegemon's a champion, I'm sorry. Yeah, some of them tend to be weak. So, it's not really a problem if you have a confident Agumon. And there we go. There, there's the finisher. I'm hoping that Agumon will evolve into a champion Digimon so I can move forward with trying to recruit more Digimon from the island. Who's there? You know what? Let me battle them. Yeah, two Madoki Betamon. They're not very strong. I remember battling them for practice when I when I was a kid. Let's see if I can take on two at a time. And I think I may have cornered myself. Let's see how he does. Oh, okay. This will be an easy battle. Okay, that's one. Okay, and that's two. Yeah. 
one thing I could tell you guys is that when you battle certain Digimon, you can learn techniques according to the Digimon you use. Like, Agumon is a fire type, so if you battle a fire Digimon, you might be able to learn from him. You might be able to learn a fire technique, let's say. I'm gonna go rest up. Hopefully, we'll get something. Like, I, I just want to see him evolve into champion level already. I'm also not going to try to talk too much. Because the game... If you know what you're doing, things are a little more than straightforward. Late afternoon. You see that clock to the left side, you guys? The top left corner? Late afternoon is the red. Early morning is purple. Afternoon is blue. And night is dark blue. So, I guess what we can do is look to the city. Look to Digimon in the city for sources of information. So, let's see what Yuramon, I believe. Yeah, Yuramon has to say. Okay, we've already seen this. So, yeah, the best thing you can do for yourself is try to get to know your environment. Let's see. How, mu how much do I have in terms of Digimon bits? 2200, that's actually not bad. I'll explain these when we come to that bridge. Agumon is doing well so far, but I think I should rest. And I'm probably gonna need to find items. I don't know where, though. Save for the vending machines. Some vending machines give out small recoveries. I remember that. I suppose I could go training at the gym, just to see what's up with Agumon's stats. Oh, and one of my goals during this playthrough is to not die with the Digimon I have, unless it's a natural uh, death. Because there's two ways to kill Agumon. There's the where it, next to where it says life. There are three heart symbols next to that word. If Agumon is killed three times in battle, he dies forever. He reincarnates into a no, another Digimon. But of course, there's also a natural death by having the champion or the ultimate level Digimon live out the rest of his days. Yes, there's a reincarnation system in this game. It happens whether the player likes it or not. Let me check out his stats. What we could do, I suppose we could try... Nah, this is good. Or maybe we could try defense. Defense a little bit. Nah. Begin. Let's try it. Let's do the bonus try. You have to get three matching pictures here. In order to get a higher stat boost. And this is day three. Day three. So what we really should be doing, I guess. That was 40. I can go for one more. We'll do normal. Bonus try is just an attempt to give Digimon, your Digimon, more of a... more stats. Let's do giant meat. Should have given him the Digimushroom and then giant meat. Sometimes you can sort of bypass um, the limitation that Agumon will have in terms of a meal. Like, he'll eat a certain amount of meats. If you give him a small piece of meat and leave him hungry for more, you can give him a giant meat as well, and you can increase his weight that way. I guess what I should go do is rest up until Agumon is fully healed. I can't think of any other places that I can go to to recruit Digimon. Unless I have a one in a champion level.
Oh, sweet. Here we go. What, what we get is what we get. I'm not resetting the game and then trying to go someplace different. I hope it's a Tyrannomon, if not a Greymon. Looks like a big Digimon. Oh, okay. Tyrannomon works. Sweet, I evolved. Alright, but by how much? Yeah, weight 30. Hmm. Last I checked, the defense wasn't supposed to be the highest. I mean, before I had 106 and speed, I, speed or brains was 107. I had one of alternative stat boost higher, one alternative stat higher than defense. But offense was still higher. I, I don't know, but the Digimon I get is the D Digimon I get. So we have room for other techniques. So I guess what I could do is train my Digimon to become even stronger. But now that he's a champion, I can probably expand my... my wins to Digimon of higher strength and caliber, I guess. Guys, if you have any questions for me, and I will probably title the video with Leave Questions Now, if you want to learn. And there are some differences that are immediate with Digimon World Next Order. Like the fact that you'll be raising two Digimon instead of one. I really couldn't tell you how that system works, because I have not played the PS Vita version of the game. I plan to get the PlayStation 4 version and do a playthrough on that. The day the game comes out. Alright, so in the meantime, I guess I'll just be sticking to training and then figuring out what to do with my newly digivolved Tyranimon. Blaze Blast. Hmm. I was really hoping for Greymon, but this is fine too. Oh yeah, um, during the training, uh, like I showed you in my last video, you can skip the the little scene where Tyrannomon is hitting his head up against wood just by pressing the triangle button. Hopefully the training system in Digimon World Next Order is a little bit different than, let's say, this. This current gym where you have to move around and play these six different mini-games. I suppose what I could do... What? He's active type. He's a. He appears to be a data type, but I have no idea how long. Like, I have no idea how long or when he's awake. I mean, he's awake now, so I guess I could do something with that. I guess I could do one more game. I'm gonna go rust. Okay, maybe th I'll make this a short video, shorter than the usual amount of time, because uh, I'm not really getting anything done for the moment. But so far, I will come back and finish this playthrough when my Tyrannomon has evolved and is a lot stronger. Strong enough to take out Champion Digimon. And I mean like, Champion Digimon that can come to the city type of champions. Alright guys, see you next video!